Welcome back to my channel, Grubbers. Thank y'all so much for joining me again today. Happy Friday, y'all. We made it to the end of the week. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday. Uh -huh. Okay. As you all can see, we are just having some lemon pepper wings. I made them myself. I was going to go to um, Wingstop, but I was like, nah. They're just going to come from my kitchen. So we got lemon pepper wings from my kitchen and um, some lemons, um, ranch dressing, and some cucumbers sitting in some vinegar and um, olive oil mixture sauce that I made. Nothing fancy. It's just Friday. That's all. It's just Friday. So... Today I have to drink, of course, bubbly. This is the, um, what is this? Mango bubbly flavor. And I'm feeling a little spicy today, y'all. So I put on my red Ruby Roo lip. And my Michael Jackson t-shirt, y'all see. He told me I was bad. That's what he said. As soon as I put it on. But, you guys, I'm going to give you some ASMR. Shh. Yeah, guys just some lemon pepper wings today what are y'all eating I'm gonna get right into it this is my first meal and only meal of the day mm. if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button below also hit the post bell notification so you can be notified each time I upload a video Also, you guys head over to Instagram and follow me at She Grubs With Love over there. If I don't post a video, I post a clip or a video of what I'm eating. So yeah, guys, go over to Instagram and support me over there as well. It'll be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Y'all are so awesome. I thank y'all so much for the comments, for the support, for the emails, for everything. Y'all are the real MVPs. I cooked these in my air fryer. Which I am completely in love with. I love my air fryer. No cleanup. And as you can see, they're real crispy. They're really crispy. It's like they came out of hot oil. Mmm. I should have got an air fryer a long time ago, but I got it now. So what are y'all doing this weekend? I think the new Avengers movie come out. Yeah, my stomach is growling as I eat. Y'all probably can hear it. Mm. Lemon pepper is my favorite wing. And my favorite part is the flats. Mm. 
This wind tastes better than wind stop. I'm sorry. At home in your kitchen. Mm, is the best. These came straight from Chic Rubs Kitchen, y'all. So, like most YouTubers, I record a day early. So, right now I've been watching Nipsey Spinner all day. I didn't cry my makeup off twice. I had to do touch up. It's just too much. Yeah. I think I first found out or learned about Nipsey through YouTube about eight or nine years ago. And then, of course, when he started dating London, you know, he got more popular or whatever. But I do not have a straw. I guess I'm a cowboy style. Ain't this what they call it? But he was, um, you can just tell he was very, very well respected. And when his son, well, his stepson, <clears throat> got up there and started talking about that dream he had, I just started crying, y'all. It's, it's just, it's so sad. But when his mother got up there and spoke, and of course she left a message on Instagram as well, when she was saying that she's just at perfect peace and everything is in divine order, it just brought a certain calmness to, you know, his fans or the people who respected him, you know, to hear his mother's words. And you can tell just by hearing her speak where he got it from you know where he got his his um spirit from where he got his teachings from his knowledge from his mom uh, she seems like a very spiritual peaceful person in london i just feel so bad for her I cannot imagine. But you guys, on a lighter note, um, shout out to Bougie Palettes. She hit a thousand yesterday, I think. So shout out to her. She ate some kind of lobster pizza. I don't know what it was, but I just want to taste it. I just want to slice. We look so good, y'all. You know, watching this funeral just reminds me of Biggie funeral. I mean, it's it's a lot to be that respected. And like a lot of people say, you know, a lot of people didn't know his music, but they knew, you know, the stuff that he was doing in the community. Snoop Dogg's speech was on point. I love Snoop Dogg's speech. Like when I first saw Nipsey back eight, nine years ago, I'm like, he got to be related to Snoop Dogg because to me, they look alike and sound alike. <laughs> and when his brother got up there, oh man, that was my second cry. I said on a lighter note and I said congratulations to Bougie Palace and I was going to move on but I keep watching the funeral and I can't oh, okay I'm going to get into these cucumbers like I said y'all I just um made a little a little something something nothing fancy but I made a little sauce down here for my cucumbers mmm 
vinegar, olive oil, some seasonings. Mmm, that's good. But I like dry lemon pepper wings. I know a lot of people put oil or some type of sauce, like a lemon sauce on their lemon pepper wings. I'm not a big fan of that. I like dry chicken when it comes to wings, unless it's a hot wing sauce. Mm, I hope y'all don't hear my stomach growling. It's so embarrassing, but it is loud. And once again, you guys, this is a low-carb meal. I try to keep my meals as low-carb as possible because I've had so much success on low-carb as far as weight loss. I started it last year. And doing mukbangs is kind of hard to, you know, keep with the low-carb. Mm. But whenever I feel myself spiraling, I just step back and go strictly low carb. Keto. Mm. I got no work done today at work because I was watching the funeral. Anybody that emailed me today did not get a response. I was at the funeral. I asked y'all what y'all was doing this weekend. Y'all, I am filing my taxes this weekend. I think I have to Monday or Tuesday. I might file them tomorrow. Hmm. Y'all know I don't like to bite my chicken. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't like to bite my chicken. But this is good. I was like, why I go spend money at Wingstop when I can make them in my kitchen? These lemons just to be extra fancy. Cause y'all know sometimes you gotta be a little fancier than what you really are. So. I don't even know how I was going to use these lemon the way I got them sliced. I'm trying to squeeze it over my chicken. Oh well. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, that, <laughs> that was a thought smack. Somebody called it a thought smack when I do that. I can't help it. No, these lemon peppers are tart. Make you smack. Mm. What are y'all eating today? Did I ask you that? I know most people don't cook on Fridays. They do order pizza or some, something quick. Hot dogs or... <laughs> Y'all laughing at my thought smack. <laughs> I crack myself up. I was watching videos yesterday trying to catch up and I came across 
can't fault Lil Gilmo Eats, right? And he was talking about how brutal Instagram comments are. It is brutal. Like, they really just don't care. And, um, who else was talking about? <laughs> I think it was Bougie Powell. Yeah, Bougie Powell. She was talking about how when she did the crawfish, how they came for her on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is a whole nother world in YouTube. But y'all go over there and follow me on Instagram. She grows with love. I had to plug that in again. Mm. Oh, it's something about lemon pepper wings. Who was it that said that? Was it Rick Raw? Lemon pepper my wings. No other way. Mm. Mm, how many wings did I have? Um, one. Two, three. I think I had 12 or 13 wings. And they're kind of small. Y'all like my little tray? I thought it was fancy. Yeah, I love this tray. I got it from Walmart. It just looks elegant and long, right? I don't know what else I could use it for, though. This and crawfish, I can eat every day. No, I'm trying to get better with decorating my plate. What y'all think? Well, I mean, it's messed up now, but you seen it from the beginning, right? The real pretty. Not so much anymore, but yeah, what y'all think? I'm trying. I'm trying. Got me a little garnishes up here. Lemons. I was kind of proud of this plate. I really didn't want to mess it up. I know when you get to the last one, you get kind of sad. 
my heart just broke when I saw this last wing. <laughs> Mm. I can't believe it was 14 wings. I think it was 12 or 14. You know, my uncle in law used to clean his bones like he would break them. Oh, I'm just spitting. My bad, y'all. He would break them and get the marrow out and suck the marrow out of the bone. I've never seen anyone do that since then. And I think I was about, when I first seen him do that, I had to have been about eight or nine years old. And I haven't seen it since. So do y'all know anybody that, you know, break the bones and suck the marrow out? It might be a Trinidad thing. I don't know. But that's what he did. But you guys, thank y'all so much for joining me today. And I hope y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. And I will see you all next week with another video. Until then, continue to grow up with love. Peace.